Stop chewing gum. Go spit it out right now. <laughs> spit it out right now. <laughs> Why does this have one pocket on the right side? <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Okay, cool. Let's just not respond to that. All right. <laughs> Christmas everybody and happy holidays. Yeah, Merry Christmas and for uh, for Christmas we're gonna bring you some uh, some Pokemon. Some Pokemon? No, today we're gonna give you guys a special gift because the Fusion Cup is arriving. Timeless is soon ending so we decided to give you guys a Christmas present of our own and show you guys which Pokemon is the best safe switch. It was a lot of work. We worked on Christmas. Yeah. We don't get paid. Yeah. All right, it was really difficult to find a safe switch Pokemon for this one. Cause uh, yeah. this one is like all types. There's no type restriction. There's no type restriction. It's literally just anything that's multi-typed and a couple bands and here and there. Yeah, so how yeah. can you really find a safe switch Pokemon when all of the types are allowed? This like, it's difficult. It's very hard. There's one specific one that's kind of like outshines the rest, but you know, like I still find Maybe. that there's others that are also great content contenders. Yeah, you know I mean? so this was hard, but we're gonna tell you our findings, we're gonna tell you uh, the top three Pokemon that we think could be the safe switch Pokemon, uh, and then end with the top Pokemon. Yeah, top pretty much. switch Pokemon. Number one, let's start off with Bronzong. Yeah. Now, Bronzong's pretty legit. He's like, you know, Confusion, right? Confusion does damage no matter what it's going up yeah, against. Not to mention that Altaria is number one in this meta and having a Pokemon with the steel typing is very important. And it's got like a lot of versatility. It's got Psychic, yeah. which tends to be pretty good on like a lot of things. Right. And it's got Bulldoze for anything like fire that's doing super effective damage to it. It's true. Mine has, it doesn't have Psychic on it because I am running short on TMs, but... <laughs> You're running Psy Shaka, dude? But... Boy. Boy. Yeah, I haven't been using Using this Bronzong just yet, but I will be tell. TMing. I will be TMing it to Psychic because they will make Bronzong so much better. Yeah. The only issue I find with Bronzong is that um, unless Altaria has a huge, like not was a huge, but it has a health disadvantage, right? Or Bronzong has a big energy advantage, right? It doesn't really beat Altaria, but it does do decently well against everything else. I think it does beat Altaria. It takes the uh, takes all the charge moves. Not very effective. Mm -hmm. It takes the fast move, not very effective. I've been in a couple Bronzong versus Altaria matchups, and Bronzong does pretty well. Yeah, it does very well. But I, I don't know, like, I think it's just lead on lead. The big problem is the rise of Shiftry with Snarl. Yeah. Uh, Shiftry is very versatile. Yeah. Takes only like four Snarls to get to foul play. Three mm -hmm. snarls to get to Leaf Blade if you need it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it counters <laughs> counters pretty hard. Kevin's bronze up pretty hard. Shiftry has really grown up uh, the meta since that new update. It's grown up. For sure. From a little little weed child to a <laughs> big bearded pointy noid. Right! Alright, and it does decently well against um, a lot of other things. Like, look, of course, we have Bronzong going up against some key matchups in the meta. Um, it be, it'll beat any fighter, any poison. Right, any gr yeah. which majority of our grass types are also poison types. Yeah, I will say Bronzong is a pretty good safe switch. Like its weaknesses are limited, so it's still a contender. Definitely, one hundred percent. Yeah. Now, can we just take a quick break and take a look at these awesome sweaters? Mine is a little warm. Yours has one pocket. Mine has <laughs> one pocket. I don't know what happened to the other one. I think they forgot here. to put the add the other one. Uh, it feels it feels like a thermal suit. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to a volcano in a second. I don't know why it's it's. I mean, yeah, it's equipped with a lot of padding, oh, but like a little unnecessary. Mine has a Santa hat. Do you feel cute? Yeah. I like it. Feels cute, but I like later. it. I like it. Alright, the next Pokemon. What's the next Pokemon? Alright, the next Pokemon is gonna be Alolan Marowak. Now we have seen Alolan Marowak um, in many different cups, but Alolan Marowak does have a place to shine here due to the fact that there's a lot of ice counters to be able to counter Altaria. But also there's the grass, yeah. right? And there's all the psychics as well. Yeah, right? it could be it could be Bronzog, mm -hmm. which we know is a, a good like safe switch. Of course. It can beat Sandslash or Lolan mm -hmm. a lot because of the fire spin. Uh, Charizard it even beats. So wow. it's kind of beating some of the other fires as well. Uh, the grass, of course. Mm -hmm. And some of the poison. Well, like Toxicroak. I yeah. guess the fighters. Yeah. The fighters It'll be all the grass poisons. Yeah. For sure. So Venusaur, Ivysaur, you gotta go. Yeah. Right? They're, they're done. Um, but of course, Toxicroak is a huge one. Like, he literally just farms Toxicroak. Yeah. It's just over. Yeah. Right? Um, the thing definitely about. Definitely, like, not gonna use any fighters against your 
a little bit of Marowak. Yes. Even a hair cross is pretty up there. Mm -hmm. It's it's the uh, fire on hair cross is not very good, and uh, yeah. fighting on your Marowak is going to do not very effective damage. So Marowak is pretty good. Yeah, a little Marowak. The thing about him is that he also beats. Bronzong, like we said earlier. Yeah. So we have another safe switch that beats the other safe switch. And it could have a chance of beating Altaria, right? Yeah, if Shadow you, Ball. Okay, if you land the Shadow Balls, yes. it could beat Altaria. Yes. Uh, if you're baiting with Bone Club 2, it could force the, the shields on Altaria. Yeah, it, it has a very decent matchup against Altaria. Yeah, because it's such a like shield baity Pokemon mm -hmm. with Shadow Ball hitting so hard, but Bone Club needing such little energy, mm -hmm. you're at least doing big damage or you're taking out those shields. Exactly. So Marowak just has a lot of versatility, but the unfortunate part is that it is weak to water and yes. rock. Yes. Water, rock, I think ground. rock. I mean, water is like the main thing, the Mud Boys. Yes. You got Swampert, even though it's reduced Hydro Cannon, it's still... Still gonna lose. Still good. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's leading down to our number one safe switch Pokemon. Yeah. What, could we... You want, should we get a drum roll? Get a drum roll, please! Let's get a drum roll. And there is no safe switch in uh, the Fusion Cup. <laughs> we we kind of skimmed through the PV poke list. We skimmed it for a while, going through everyone's counters, and mm -hmm. you just can't have a safe switch when every type is allowed in this meta. That's right. There's always going to be something that's going to be able to hard counter. But there is one Pokemon that could do the best. It's not going to be resistant to everything, but this is what we could do the best. What Pokemon is it, J Farm? Wishcash! <laughs> now, Wishcash is gonna be our number one safe switch. The reason why is because he beats both the other safe switches. And, key point, beats Altaria in the double shield scenario. Yeah. That is huge. The fact that he can beat Altaria's counters, but also beat Altaria, huge. And you might be asking yourself, how could a Pokemon that has a double weakness to grass possibly be a like? We've seen how fast Wishcast goes down to like a Razor Leaf user. Yep, 100%. You'll go down to Wish uh, to a Razor Leaf users, but as long as you're able to counter that, which there exactly. is so much yeah. Pokemon that can be able to counter those Razor Leafers, right? Yeah. You got Altaria itself, right? You have Fires, you have Psychics, you have uh, Ice, right? Which you're also using to be able to counter Altaria as well, yeah. right? So there's so much, it's very dangerous to be able to bring a Grass type into the fusion cup, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Like, Wishcash is 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 weak to grass, but as long as you have something to cover that grass, especially something like Charizard, that if it's going against like a Razor Leaf user, mm -hmm. Charizard could just farm it down, mm -hmm. have so much energy with the Dragon Claw, with the Blast Bird, and whatever's coming in next, you could either switch out, keep it for later, or it's getting hurt with like a lot of Dragon Claws and a lot of bat Blast Birds, you know? Exactly. That's the thing, right? So as I don't see a lot of grass in this meta, yeah. personally, but if someone is brave enough to be able to bring one that is going to be your main hard counter but again because you're not going to see so much of it wish cash will definitely be able to shine this yeah, cup there's not going to be a lot of grass because altera is the top right now exactly and now not only is wish cash one of the best safe switches but because he's the best safe switch he's also an amazing lead right wish cash in the lead doesn't matter what he's going up against Altaria, bring it in double shield scenario he wins yeah right he goes up against literally anything else blaziken right charizard what anything it wins yeah it's definitely you know I mean? important to note that wish cash alone is not going to be your safe switch you yeah. definitely have to pair it something with something that's going to count to the grass after yes i find Altaria with wish cash combo right works very well together yeah Right? Personally, that's what I think, in my opinion, right? I'm still fairly new to the Fusion Cup, but uh, it's yeah. still pretty awesome. We're still deep in time list because uh, we haven't done a ranked battle yet. We've done a ranked tournament and we're going to Ohio to do it. That's right. Which is amazing because um, from what you've told me, uh, it's like one of the biggest tournaments that are going on in Ohio now. Right, it's actually the biggest tournament that's happened yeah. in Ohio, period. I think it's been fairly small, the tournaments in Ohio. And uh, we're going to come down and visit and hang out with a lot of uh, the people that we know there. Yeah, like, we're almost at, I think, moderators. seven rounds? Yeah, I think seven so. rounds. almost at seven rounds. Uh, but we are going down there, the tournament is on the 28th. Yes. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to meet us and hang out with us and have some drink with us after the tournament, I have some like, <laughs> Uh, then yeah, we're going to Ohio. Yeah, and if you're fun. close by, right? Um, or if not, just fly in. Yeah, we'll put, <laughs> put the details in the description and the link to the tournament in the description. But come battle us. Come get beat by me. Or beat him.
probably more likely. More likely. <laughs> Alright guys, so to conclude this video, we're definitely going to say that Wish Cash is by far the best safe switch in the Fusion Cup. If you guys like this video and helped you guys out, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment down below to let us know what you guys think of these videos, how, what you think that we should do to make them better, and if you have any suggestions. And of course, do not forget to subscribe for more PvP, Silph Arena, and Battle League De content. Definitely give us uh, recommendations on who you think is the safe switch because this was hard. We want your recommendations. And Battle League, Silph Arena, blah 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 content. See you guys on the next one.